Hello dear friends, my name is Vangelis Prokopiou and uh, you are watching Drupal adding inner join to a dynamic query. So we will uh, talk about this subject for a little, uh, for a few minutes. Uh, I have set up some code and some uh, a test uh, site. Here is our test site with uh, this route which returns us the existing users of this site in JSON. The code that uh, we are executing is this one. I have uh, created uh, a custom module which I named or condition uh, and wha what we are interested in is this uh, code that is executed when we visit this route. So what would do we do here? As we can see we are uh, getting all the available users of this specific site with this query, this dynamic query and uh, we return it to the front end. Uh, this is a very straightforward dynamic query, but uh, let's say that uh, we wanted to add another field to this query, for, exam for example, the user's email. Right now we are only displaying the user ID, as we can see here, the user ID for all our users. In order to be able to display the emails of the users, we have to join the users table to the users field data table because the email of the users is in that table. So we have to, to add an inner join to our, to our dynamic query. So let's uh, see how we can do this. First of all, the query is going to change a little bit and we, we are going to create it right now. We will start the query by selecting the first uh, table. We will end this statement here and we have to continue building the query. It will be a little different than it was before. Here we will add our inner join to the table that we are interested in. For now I will comment, comment out this code. We will add uh, an inner join, as we said, to the users field data uh, table. Users field data table, and uh, we will give an uh, alias to this uh, table. For example, let's call it UFD, user field data. And then we must provide uh, the, condi the condition on which uh, this join is going to happen. So we will say that the users, the users, user ID must be equal to the UFD, users field data, user ID. So we just added the inner join. What we can do next is continue building this query and say that uh, we will build our fields. What fields do we want? As we said, we want the existing field which was the user's UUID. UUID sorry, not like this, but in an array, user ID, okay, and then we can uh, add fields from the table that we joined, so we can say that we want from this table, the UFT table, we want the mail field, for example. So our query is now built. All we have to do is now execute the query and fetch the results. So we can say that our users 
will be equal to the query which we will execute and then fetch all the results and then all we have to do is return the users as we did before so let's go to the front end and see if we uh, managed to do what we wanted if we refresh as you can see we just got all the users with their emails so it seems that our code is working this is our code uh, a very a thing that we have to remember is that uh, we cannot build this query without uh, stopping the building here we cannot for example do this and so on and so forth this will not work because uh, the query is not returned after the inner join we have to stop the building and then continue with the fields and uh, the conditions that uh, we may also want to add to this query so let's go once more to the UI to make sure that it is still working yes it is working uh, that was the the end this is the end of uh, this video I hope that uh, you will find this video useful useful in the future uh, when you try to build your dynamic queries uh, I want to also thank you for watching this video maybe you you could uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you find these uh, videos useful useful so that was all uh, thank you for watching the video and have a great day